Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a general reading focusing on who is coming towards you. So it's more of an extended version, a longer version of what I would normally do on my TikTok page for the one minute readings, as well as what I've been doing for my short videos here on YouTube and on Instagram. So let's take a look at that. We're going to pull some letters that could be a part of this person's name. We'll grab some zodiac signs. We'll grab some characteristics, descriptions of who it is that you might be dealing with, who's coming towards you. That is what we're looking at here. So general reading as always, guys, please keep that in mind throughout this reading. Take from it what resonates with you and release what doesn't. Okay, so let's begin. Potential letters for this person. Let's grab a few. We have H. L. This could be their initials, combination of maybe both of your names. So we'll grab a few. I'm guided to eight for some reason. We'll grab eight letters. We have C, R, Q. Let's grab two more. We have an X and we have an E. All right, so that could be a part of their name. It could be a combination, again, of both of your names, initials. All right, so if you're single and if you aren't connected with anybody at this point in time, this is perhaps something to keep in mind, just letters, potential letters that could be a part of their name. All right, so now that we've got the letters, let's go ahead and grab some signs. I'm going to go ahead and grab six signs. We've got Scorpio coming through. We have Sagittarius, and this could be Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Your sign could be here as well, Taurus. We have Aquarius. Let's grab two more. I'm guided to this one. We have Aries, and last one is Pisces. All right, so those are some potential signs of who it is that's coming your way. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, Pisces, Aquarius, and Aries. Okay, and again, it could be a combination of their chart, and perhaps that could be a part of your chart as well. So this next batch of cards, and as you can see, there's quite a bit. This is from my Enlightened Mystery Oracle Volume 1 and 2. I have combined both of them. They've already been pre-shuffled, so let's go ahead and grab some characteristics of who this person is, who, what, where, when, where you guys might have met, characteristics of what they might look like. So I'm just going to fan these out because these cards are really large. And let's grab a few. Here we go. Your ideal mate will express his or her love through poems or songs. So maybe this person could be really gifted in poetry. They might love to write songs and be very gifted in that way. You guys could have that in common, have the gift of song, music, somebody could play an instrument here, be a singer, or you just both really love music. Your ideal mate will be very attractive. Okay, so this is somebody that you're definitely attracted to. They're just as attracted to you. Ooh, this is interesting and take it only if it applies, okay? Your ideal partner is your ex. Life will find a way to bring you back together when the time is right. So clearly, if you're not into your ex, if you're not interested in revisiting that partnership, then that part of the message is not for you. Let's see what else. Your ideal mate will be an only child, so they might not come from a ver very big family here. You will meet your ideal partner during the summer season. So for those of you who are already obviously focused on a person who is coming towards you, if more than likely you're in separation at a distance, no contact, you guys could have already met during the summer season and or they could have a birthday during the summertime. Let's grab another. Somebody could have green eyes here. Okay, so let's grab a few more for the collective. Your ideal mate loves to exercise and stay fit. So this person could certainly be a gym fanatic. They love to exercise, eat right, you know, all of those things. Tall, dark, and delicious. Okay, that could be describing this person that you're thinking about or that is how they see you. You and your future love will be the same ethnicity. All right, so you guys 
If you relate to that, you're of the same ethnicity, possibly same background. I'm guided to pull three more here. Your ideal mate will be your best friend. Okay, that's always nice to be in a love connection with your best friend, somebody that you see in that way. Your future love will not be afraid to show you love and affection. And I mean, a lot of these cards, it either says ideal mate or your future love. But obviously, if you guys are already connected and together or going through some issues, you know, take the messages how it fits your current status. All right, let's grab one more here. Your person's name starts or contains the letter O. Did we get an O? Hold on, let me just check. No, we didn't. So you can add that to the list of letters that have already presented itself here. And I don't know why I'm guided to pull one more. And let's grab one more. Your person will be clean cut or have very short hair. Okay, so it's just an added description of who is coming towards you. All right, so that's a lot of cards here that I got to gather up. And let's take a look and see what additional messages you need to know for this reading. Okay, so what is it about this person that's coming towards you? Either you guys are in separation, or if you're single, this could be somebody new. I'm going to pull from the Romance Angels deck here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for all signs, all zodiacs tuning in. What about this person that is coming towards you, the viewer? What do you need to know? Okay, you have to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So more than likely, this is for those of you who've already met your person. Again, if you guys need to have a sit down and talk about things, either going through some issues in your partnership, or you guys are at a distance from one another and haven't talked in a while. You could have also connected in a past life okay past life relationship and it does say you have known each other before if you relate to that maybe when you first connected with this person it was almost like an instant attraction or you felt just this magnetic pull or you just felt like you've known each other before as it states there we have passion coming through as well allow your heart and soul to sing with joy okay so a very passionate connection here but it's also very important to love yourself first okay your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so especially i feel that for my singles the next partnership that you're wanting to attract is hopefully somebody that could be a life partner but first you have to dedicate that growth and healing towards yourself first to be able to fill your cup initially okay so let's grab some tarot here i'm going to use my tarot teacher deck what else do we need to know? I'm feeling for those of you who got who haven't talked in a while and really need to sit down and talk. I feel that's coming through here very heavily for some of you guys to have that honest discussion. Especially if you guys are at a distance and separation, might have had a painful breakup. You guys need to talk about things. And we are ultimately focusing on who's coming towards you, so they want to come towards you. We do have the Ten of Cups in the reverse here. So, I mean, it's such a beautiful card in the upright. Could represent a fulfilled dream. There's this divine love connection between two people. But it is coming up in the reverse. So there's definitely this disconnection. You guys have been struggling through the partnership. It could also represent shattered dreams and a broken family for those of you that relate to that. And I feel heart-to-heart -heart conversation is so fitting. There's a lot that needs to be talked through and talked out. A much-needed discussion between you and your person. And maybe that's why they're coming towards you, because you guys need to talk You walked away from them. It's either that or they walked away from you because something wasn't working in the partnership and that something could have been the Seven of Swords, which was deception, could have been an affair here. Maybe your person here was in a third party situation or they betrayed you somehow. If it wasn't an affair, it was some other way that they hurt you. So more than likely you ended up putting a stop to this connection you walked away from them you let them go 
but I feel as a result of the distance and time apart, there are some changes that are happening here when it comes to your person. And perhaps they're working on loving themselves too. Because if they love themselves, they're not going to be doing anything to self-sabotage their progress towards their healing and the journey back to you. I'm actually loving this Eight of Wands coming in here because it does represent progress, rapid action, movement, exciting times ahead. It could also be indicative of holiday romance for some of you. So maybe around the holiday season, this person will be coming your way, heading in your direction. Let's see what else. So they still feel connected to you. We have a King of Pentacles. That's a great card, especially representing the Divine Masculine here. This is someone who's faithful. This isn't somebody who's going to deceive you in any way or to cheat or hurt you. So perhaps the Divine Masculine is now coming towards you, Divine Feminine, as a more mature, well-rounded person who is more abundant. Maybe they've worked on themselves, loving themselves, more successful, possibly in their career. Money matters looks pretty good with the King of Pentacles. This is a masculine who really is looking for long-lasting love. You know, so this energy of infidelity and cheating, trickery, risky behavior on their part, that I feel is a thing of the past. You know, and again, clarifying that you walked away from them because you were dealing with somebody who was sneaking around, interacting with other people but as you can see here with that hierophant your person here whether it's masculine or feminine whoever it is you're thinking about they're ready to commit to this partnership but it starts with a discussion it starts with you guys talking and i love that the ace of cups is right there because it's all about self-love initially right there love yourself first i feel this is something that you both might have worked on during this time apart but it's also indicative of the deep connection that you still feel towards each other and wanting a new beginning, ultimately letting you know that this situation can get better. And then we have another ace, ace of wands. They still feel the spark when it comes to you and referencing once again, a new beginning, a new opportunity for growth in this partnership. So if you're open to that, the person that's coming towards you, first of all, they know that you guys need to sit down and talk. They still feel so connected to you. We see that here. They want to bring the romance and the passion back. They're ready to commit. So if you're able to accept them back in, possibly open to forgiveness and an apology for how things played out before, then maybe you can give this a second chance if you're open to that, of course. Okay, so let's grab some words here when it comes to this person that's coming towards you and what do they want to say to you? All right, so... I'm going to pull from my Heavenly Hearts Oracle deck here to wrap up this reading. This person that's coming towards you, what is it that they want to say? What do they want to say? We have a few cards here. I can feel you even when you are far from me. That's because you guys are so connected energetically. You may not be my first love, but you will be my last love, my best love. Okay, they don't want anyone else after you, just you. My love for you is endless. Okay, a lot of realizations from your person here. And bottom of the deck, to wrap up this reading, this universe has a plan for us to find our way back to each other. I love that. So maybe your person is just really trusting that the universe has you guys covered and it'll find a way to bring you guys back into each other's lives. And again, if you're open to that, if you really are wanting this person to return, especially those of you in separation and distance, whatever struggles and challenges you guys might have been through, the universe is helping you guys to get back onto the right track. And it's interesting, again, from one of the cards that came through, your ideal person, your ideal partner is your ex. So if it really is your ex that's wanting to come towards you, come back towards you, then they're trusting that the universe has their back and really helping them to find their way back to you. So again, if you're cool with that, you guys might just be able to have your happy ending here. 
All right, so that's where I'm going to leave this one, guys. Whatever part of it resonated with you, I'm hoping that this resonated and helped you out entering into the first half of October or however, whenever you're able to watch this reading. This one is ultimately timeless, so whenever you're guided to watch and if it resonates, fantastic. All right, so that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.